I played Pixel Ripped 1978, then I played Pixel Ripped 1995, and now I have just finished playing Pixel Ripped 1989. Like before, you are a time traveller and have to take control over the best player of that year to play a series of games to save the world from doom. As usual, they blend games together so well taking it from the handheld console to bringing it into a VR setting. And the backdrops look amazing, with plenty of items to reference from the 80s. I really do like how challenging the games were in this. It gave me that frustration feeling I haven't felt since playing on the Commodore 64 when getting stuck on certain sections. Because not only did you need to be good at games, but you needed to be a master at the controllers too, knowing how and when to push which buttons. I swear I got stuck on the most simple parts of this game, which should have taken 5 seconds, but because I died, I had to restart, and then it takes 30 minutes or so, all because I couldn't get my character to run and jump at the crucial moments. Infuriating! They mix modern in with retro in this game just perfectly. The ideas are great, such as sitting in the classroom as a child, sneakily trying to play your games console as the teacher tries teaching a lesson, but if she catches you, look out. You will have to totally restart your game from the beginning. Well, that level anyway. But there are things you can do to distract her, like shoot a screwed up piece of paper at a stereo to blast music, or at a projector which breaks, or at the waste paper bin, which brings out some other kind of surprise. The story is similar to the others, but it's told in a fun way and the interactions with other characters are fun. Now the worst point about this game is how it saves, or should I say how it doesn't save. Sometimes it takes a long time to reach an end of level, like four or five stages, and then when you get to that final stage, you get fed up of doing the same thing 15 times over so you might want to give up and try again the next day. Only, it doesn't save by the stages. You will have to restart the entire level again. To me, that's a huge no. I got stuck at the very end for an hour on the final boss. You have to kill her three times. I got to the third bit, but if you die, you start again. I must have done this 15 times, but then I had to leave to pick my kids up for school, thinking that when I came back, I would start at the final boss again, but it didn't. I had to restart that entire level again. That was just enough to put me off playing this game. I know I was at the end, but I refused to go through all that frustration again. So now I've played all three. Which one is the best, I hear you ask? Well, in order, I would say 1995, 1989, 1978. But get all three if you get the chance, as this series really is a lot of fun. So I'm going to score Pixel Ripped 1989 a 30 out of 35, and you can find my scoring system in the description section below. Now please push that like button if you find this review helpful, drop a comment on the thoughts of this game, then come be part of this growing community and hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys and happy gaming.